RGM I started in 1992 um, because I wanted to make watches uh, the way I wanted to make them. You know, working for a big uh, Swiss company in uh, sort of the mid-range of things wasn't what I was interested in. I was interested in making only mechanical watches, high-grade watches, you know, solid materials for the cases, um, uh, you know, movements uh, that were mechanical, dials that were uh, the way that I wanted them, real engine turn dials, real blue steel hands. I wanted to make watches the way I wanted to make them. I didn't want to uh, just work for a watch company and, and make something in the middle and make compromises. I was, uh, uh, it wasn't my interest, you know, so it was really about the watches. And before that, I was even on the side, I was always repairing and restoring watches. So I had a great interest in watches and vintage watches and the history of watchmaking, especially uh, here in America. In the United States here, watchmaking there was huge back in the day. Uh, back in the 1800s, early 1900s, there were a lot of watch companies making um, uh, mechanical, beautiful mechanical movements. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to make my own watches. And the first watches that RGM made were all based around Swiss movements, but still made to the quality that I wanted as far as from the movement, the dial, the hands, the case. But like any real watchmaker, I wanted to have our own in-house movements. So that was a, uh, a long road because the, the uh, road from repair and restoration to manufacturing a movement is very, it's very different. You know? uh, and it really learning, uh, knowing one doesn't mean you're gonna know the, the other. So it was really a long haul for us. Uh, to accomplish that. I started in 2000 with the idea of doing our own movement. It wasn't until 2007 that we actually sold a watch with our in-house movement, which we make 90% of the parts uh, here in America. So that was something I, I, I just had a desire to do it. It wasn't like, oh, this is gonna be successful. I'm gonna make a lot of money. You know, th this wasn't a business thing. This was, this was a watchmaking thing. It's just, I, I had to do it. And uh, it was very expensive, it was very long, a lot of trial and error. And even since 2007 till now, you know, we've made a lot of changes and a, a lot of uh, progression. And uh, the movements we make here today are, are much, much nicer than the ones we made in 2007. So um, I just felt like it was important to do that for, for me as a watchmaker. And we're the only company in the United States right now that, that makes uh, mechanical watch movements in series. Small series, but we're making series. There's, there's not anyone else doing that. Most companies, or most brands, let's say, uh, are using um, um, Swiss movements or Japanese movements or even Chinese movements. Uh, that then they're having cased into watches and they have a watch brand, but they're not manufacturing watches.